All right, my beautiful friends, it is Tuesday, March 19, 2019. I hope you're sitting down for this one. It's It just keeps on coming. It's just incredible. As I am doing this video blog, stocks are higher across the board. Uh, a nice little rally here on Wall Street. Do you have any idea of what might have sparked this rally today? Well, you can't make this stuff up, I swear to you. The Federal Reserve put out their economic report for the next two years. And uh, it was very negative. As a matter of fact, they said they expect economic growth to slow sharply. Boom! Stocks go up. Now, why would that happen? Again, the absolute disconnect between the economy and the stock market could not be more in our face. What this means, very simply, is more interest rate suppression, more cash printed out of thin air to prop everything up, and the market understands that every single world central bank around the world is going to do the same thing. So what does that mean? Weaker dollar, because they have to print more out of thin air, Stock market positive. Suppressed interest rates. There's nowhere else to go. Cash moves into the stock market. That's why stocks are higher. So so you can understand the phenomenon here. It's an incredible situation, but that's the way it is. In this environment, I know how twisted it sounds, but it's the truth. You have to look at the big picture always and then kind of hone in. But in this environment... The, the worse economic news we get, even such something like this, where the Federal Reserve says, hey, we're going to get a massive slowdown over the next two years. We're going to miss GDP, GDP forecasts across the board. Bang! Stocks will go up. <laughs> you know, there was a time when a piece of news like this would have rocked the stock market um, would have been losing hundreds and hundreds of points, but not in this environment. That's the situation here, and you have to sit back and say, what really is going on here? It's very simple. It's, it's, it all goes back to what I have explained to you yesterday. As a matter of fact, if you did not see the video I did yesterday, I, I covered a lot of the charade how this is going to play out. There's no doubt about it. Um, what the yield curve is telling us right now. But it doesn't matter. For the stock market right now, don't matter. It's going to be hyper super inflated on the back of a hyper hyper super inflated debt bubble. And then the debt bubble will burst. Stocks will get wiped out along with the middle class. That's it. Two tier society period. The end. You know, let me just say this. Who ever thought that it would be a good idea to let private institutions run the monetary system of a country? Because that's what we have here. The Federal Reserve, no more federal than Federal Express. It's run by six banks. The same six banks that Mnuchin met with in December to start propping up this market after a 5,000 point drop. Think about it. Central banks around the world do the same thing, but we're going to stick to the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve issues debt, nothing more. Uh, that is their product. The more debt they issue, the stronger they become. Now, so they issue this debt to us in the form of Federal Reserve notes. These notes, they don't even belong to you. They're Federal Reserve notes that are owned by the Federal Reserve and owed back to the Federal Reserve plus interest that they print out of thin air. Honestly, you, the, the system is so twisted. It's the debt-based system. It's an incredible thing. It was ingenious, seriously. Uh, for those that came up with this, and then subsequently the petrodollar, but it has decimated society around the world. It's the truth. It's a, it's a very twisted thing. You know, let me read something to you 
that I posted yesterday. I'm going to punch this up. Um, I want you to ponder this short statement I came up with. This is so true. Here we go. It is the debt-based system itself which has led to the global modern slave society and the re-emergence of the two-tier society system. If we had a wealth-based system, the middle class would prosper. Thus, the debt-based system was chosen. I want you to think about that, um, honestly, because that's where you are. I'm in the same boat as you. But uh, I'll tell you, so we need to all think about it, understand that we did let this happen. Uh, we allowed all of this to manifest itself. And uh, now we're going to see what it cost all of us. We're already witnessing some of that now. And it's going to get a lot worse. With that said, enjoy the rally in the stock market, my lions especially, that bought SPY when I said to. We are, let me look at my own trade here. Lord have mercy. We are up very nicely. The charade plays on. I love you guys and girls. See you at the end of the day.